Hey everybody, now we're back with another contest question. So, you take a look up top, can you solve that problem? I'm going to give you a moment to just give the problem a read. It's a little wordy, but when you get down to the end, it's important for us to note that we are going to have to come up with the sum of the digits in this subtraction expression. Okay, the sum of the digits in that subtraction expression. So when you got down to 10 to the exponent 2021 minus 2021, not what is the answer, but add up all the digits. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, I've made that problem just a little bit smaller. I'm going to keep shrinking it down just to give us some room to work. So clearly, as the problem says, but also I'm hoping it's a little bit of an instinct, like we're not going to calculate 10 to the exponent 2021 and work our way through. But there is some stuff that we can maybe use through it. So I'm going to stumble my way through this solution a little bit and see, can we just like pattern some stuff out a little bit? So if I was to start, then maybe I would take a look at it and say, okay, is there a pattern in my powers of 10? So maybe, I, you know, 10 to the exponent 1 is 10. Okay, but then like 10 squared is 100. 10 cubed is 1,000. 10 to the 4th is 10,000. And so we maybe start getting to the point where we recognize if we didn't know already that really the exponent I put on 10 gives me the number of zeros in its standard number, in its answer. So the value of that power contains the same number of zeros as the exponent. So I could come to the conclusion then that 10 to the exponent 2021 would have to give me a 1 at the beginning of the problem, uh, the answer. And then I'm just going to write down here with 2021 zeros that would follow it. Okay, there's me addressing like my power of 10. Now I need to figure out the difference part. So now I'm going to focus to the subtraction part. Okay, I'm just going to slide that over a little bit. So if I started to look at now taking a power of 10 and now subtracting 2021, well, I could take my 10 to the fourth. That would be like the biggest power that would really give me something to pattern. So let's say that I took my 10 to the fourth, which I know is 10,000, and I'm going to stop writing that whole thing down pretty soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2021. Well, that's going to give me 7,979, right? Subtract your 2,000 is 8,000. Subtract off another 21 gives you 79. Okay. If I then look at my 10 to the fifth, well, I already know that that's 100,000, five zeros. And if I subtract 2,021 from that, then I get... 97,000, then my 979. Okay, if I then work my way up and I just keep going, like my 10 to the 6th would be like a million, six zeros, minus my 2021. Okay, that's going to give me 997,979. Okay, I can start to see this pattern of like nines and sevens and nines. Okay, let me keep it going and I think maybe one more and I might be able to pattern out enough. If I take 10 to the exponent 7, so that's going to be seven zeros. So 10 million and I subtract 2021. Then I get 9 million because I'm subtracting off. 997,979. Okay, I am starting to see a pattern. If you notice, and I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit, that every one of my answers finishes 
with 7,979. 7,970. 7,900. And I can maybe see the pattern of what's building out in front of it. I got a nine. I got two nines. I have three nines, and so on and so on. Okay, I think I have a pattern. So down below, I'm just going to write out that pattern. It seems like I could predict my number of nines out in front of this 7,979 that seems to be the end of every answer. So I'm going to jot something down here. I notice in my pattern that if I have an exponent of 5, that leads to 1, 9, then 7,979. If I have an exponent of 6, that leads to two nines. Then my finish. Exponent of 7 led to three nines. And then my finish. And so that patterning is going to allow me to make a prediction. If I take a peek at what I see in red, I notice that my number of nines is always four less than my exponent. Okay, I'm going to write down what I think is my pattern, what I can use to solve. So if I take my exponent and I subtract four from it, then that's going to give me my number of nines. And then my answer is going to finish with a 7,979. Okay, what does that allow me to come to the conclusion of? So, therefore, if I take my exponent of 2,021 and I subtract off 4, then that gives me 2,017. I'm going to slide this up. That tells me then that I'm going to have 2,017 nines at the beginning. So if I'm going to then say that that's a 9, 9, 9, and the question asks me to find the sum of the digits in my answer, then really what I want is a 9 plus a 9 plus – I'm going to have 2,017 of those 9s that I'm adding together. That means I can multiply. So I'm going to take – 9, and I'm going to multiply it by 2017. But then I can't forget, my answer is going to end with 7,979. So what I need to do is take the answer I get to that, and then add on a 7, and add on a 9, and add on a 7, and add on a 9. Or what I could do is I could take that 20 or 2017 times 9, which gives me 18,153, and I could add on the 14 from the two 7s and the 18 from the two 9s, however you want to think about it. But we have worked our way down to what is the sum of the digits if we get down to 1, 000, or sorry 18,185. And there we go. Great problem. I like that one. Good patterning. Okay, I'm hoping that that solution gives you some strategies to try problems that look similar. When dealing with huge numbers, can we pattern out or go on the hunt to find a pattern and then use that a pattern to apply to a bigger problem? Okay, I hope it helps. Best of luck with your practice.